So I wanted to make a journal about uh, the staring and attention that I receive here in India. One thing that uh, most people don't understand is that everywhere you go here in India, as a black person, people are always looking at you as if you are naked. It's the closest thing that I can come to explain to how it would feel to walk around the streets of the city and the amount of attention that one draws. Um, it's interesting because I also came here to uh, discover India, to learn about India, to see and experience India, but most of my experience are colored with this uh, attention, massive, massive amounts of attention that one receives where it becomes um, unacceptable even to take a walk in a park because people assume that you're loitering or I, I don't know what they assume that you're going to do, but it becomes a very disturbing um, experience and so the past four years have mostly been spent um, disturbed and being with people who are physically uncomfortable around you, visibly uncomfortable around you. I liken it to someone sitting and balancing in, on a four-legged chair and balancing uh, on two legs. As soon as they see a black person, it's like they slip and fall and they have to recover and so it's sort of a uh, one can say a benefit of being a black person because you always get to see people in this very uncomfortable, um, in this very this moment of great discomfort of not knowing what's going to happen and, and how they're going to handle it. So some people, of course, lose their balance and they scream and oh my gosh, I'm so startled. And some people very calmly um, regain their balance and move on with what they're doing. And other people um, are so startled from the experience that they, they dramatically talk about it for the next five minutes. And so in, in meeting people, I feel like they're often debased in this, in this very same way. Um, just that moment of how am I going to deal with this person? Who is this person? What assumptions do people make about this? And for me, I liken it to something like a Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter gets picked on, but Harry Potter is picked on because he's a powerful character. He's picked on because he has uh, the power to defeat an evil so great that most people won't even say it. Most people won't say Voldemort. And similarly, here in India, the racism that I experience, some people come to me and they say, how is your experience in India? And they say, you know. And I notice this, you know, doesn't, uh, isn't a question that comes from, from everyone. But those people who are uniquely positioned to see something about racism or see something about difference um, in a majority, minority-based society. And so um, when I get these, you know, questions about how has it been here in India, um, I really have to say um, it's like Baltimore because it's an evil that no one will speak, but people expect that I'm uniquely positioned. I'm somehow um, a professional in, in racism anywhere in the world that I go. And so they know this. This confirms for me the, 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 the fact of endemic racism because so many people are so convinced that it does exist. So many people are convinced that um, I will have um, the experience of racism in so many different areas that I function in, and it's true. Um, I've seen how different Indian people are with white people. White people are, are favored. Um, I've seen the value of fair skin. Um, in this country. Um, I've seen the fact that people who are on television don't look like the people who are here walking around on the streets. Uh, there's a great difference that's made. And so um, the staring, though, is one area where I would say I, I, I see a great deal of racism in this country. Um, people are so debased, so um, out of sorts when it comes to uh, just encountering a black person that they really don't know how to respond. They really don't know what they're going to do. And so I, I sort of get to sit there and, and watch them and observe. And I learn a lot about those people based on how they respond to just a moment of stress, a moment of feeling uncomfortable. Um, and I consider it a gift. Um, I understand that a lot of people see it as a curse. How am I, how, why is, does this have to befall upon me all the time? Why are people so uncomfortable around me? Why are people so at odds around me? Um, and it does, and it is very uncomfortable, I have to say. Um, so there's a constant uh, reminding of myself that I have to do that this is a part of my, part of my gift is to be able to see people in that position.
there's never a seamless transition from seeing a black person to you know giving your hand to a black person and shaking their hand and and meeting them there are very few people who don't have an uncomfortable moment and and I, I can name those people that I've met in my life um, probably on one or two hands the non-black people I'm talking about and um, it is a gift and here in India I'm forced to hone in on this gift to practice this gift all the time because people are very uncomfortable around me um, just here in the park where I'm sitting in Lodi Gardens for example I came here to enter this blog and I just sat you know close by under a tree and I wanted you to have a good um, a good view of the park and uh, the temples in the background but just as soon as I sat you know one of the attendants who were sitting here and I've made them uncomfortable so they've moved um, they screamed at me, hey, Baya, you know, you, you know, just, and just, just, just me away. And that doesn't happen to white people. Trust me, I've been around enough white people in public in this city to know that that just doesn't happen to white people. If anything, they're saluted, um, namaskarji, uh, all these sorts of things. How can we make you comfortable? And, um, and I came over to them to just ask them to explain why I was being, um, shooed away. And of course they had, um, um, one of the bosses come over and explain to me in English and the guy was showing me his ID and everything like um, I'm a National Park Service representative and, and no one can just sit in here and I you know and so we got into well where am I sit and you're sitting here can I sit next to you um, um, and finally they said no 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 you can sit anywhere we just don't want anyone loitering or um, and I said okay so can I sit here fine but you can sit here given that you don't you know smoke anything or and I, I wasn't sure what on what he meant by smoking anything or I don't know I, I have no idea what uh, what experiences that he may have had um, in the past with foreigners or if he's had any experiences at all with foreigners but um, it makes India never dull there's never a dull moment I guess which is um, all a sociologist can really ask for